Yesterday, I saw a Twitter thread where somebody was asking, I just got a new MacBook Pro. What is the must-have software? What is the setup that I need to have? And there's hundreds of answers. And one of the most common ones that probably half of them was Raycast. And I'd never heard of Raycast, but I'm going to download it and I'm going to see what it's all about. So let's dive in. Let's check out Raycast. And you can find Raycast at raycast.com right here in your browser. And it says your shortcut to everything. And there's a big download button right here for Apple. It appears this is only for Apple. You can't get this on Windows. Or you can also install it via Homebrew. If you're savvy to that, you can open it up in your terminal and download it via Homebrew. I'm going to go ahead and get this downloaded, and I'll see you in the software. Once I open it up, it says your Mac but better. Super clean UI so far. Let's click Start Setup. Out of the box, Raycast adds the productivity tools Mac OS should have shipped with. And it looks like we got some different app launchers, clipboard history, snippets. So like functions of Mac OS, but this is going to extend what we can do with native Mac OS. Windows management, search screenshots, let's continue. And we got extensions. So we got Zoom, and these are all apps on my computer, it looks like, Obsidian, Zoom. And so I'm just going to continue with that. Keep your muscle memory. Open it, log in. Yes, let's do that. And use Raycast Emoji Picker. It says it's going to be faster than the Mac OS Emoji Picker. So let's test that out and continue. And it looks like it needs access to calendar and contacts. It needs access to files and folders and accessibility. So I'm going to go ahead and allow all this stuff. Obviously, do your own due diligence if you want to allow this. I don't recommend blindly allowing access to everything on your computer. And let's hit continue. And trying to get us to sign up for their newsletter, follow on X, et cetera, continue. Okay, so we use option space. That's gonna be our hotkey to activate Raycast. So let's try this out. All right, so when I hit option and space, it pulls this up, which kind of looks like the spotlight built into Apple, and they got some onboarding steps here. Get started, start the journey of becoming an expert. And if I click on one, it opens it up in my browser. So the important thing to know here is if you hit option space, that's going to activate Raycast. It's like an extended spotlight. It's like a better, beefier version of spotlight. So I skipped through the rest of the tutorial and walkthrough. There's some useful info in there and definitely go through it if you get stuck or you feel like that's helpful for you. But once you hit option space and you're inside of Raycast and it's running in the background so you won't see it on your dock. It's just something that's always running. And you can see here there's some suggestions. So it tells you like this one is a Raycast app. Um, there's the dictionary. So just like with, with Spotlight, you can type in words here and define something. So let's try preponderance, preponderance with an A. And you can just double click on it. And it's the same dictionary, that Oxford dictionary that you have built into Apple. And everything's super quick. You can see it's things are happening instantly. Um, you can open up other apps on your computer. So in my case, I have Standard Notes, Notion, DaVinci Resolve. I can simply click on those and then it highlights it. And then to open it, you just hit return or enter on your keyboard, and that'll open that app. Um, there's a calculator, so let me hit return. And it says, do math, convert units, or search your past calculations. Do I, I don't know if I, two plus two. Okay, so you just type in an equation, and it does it, and then it tells you the answer. Two plus two is four. All right, nice. And it, you can search on other places, search Google, it'll open up Brave Browser, search snippets, etc. cetera. Um, there's actions, there's this little thing that says Command K. You can copy the answer, copy the question and answer, show history. So lots you can do there with the calculator. And I'm gonna hit Escape. That returns me back to the home. I can look at my calendar. I'm not gonna open that up, but you can do a color picker. This is like, this is just allowing you to match a pixel somewhere on your computer. And then uh, you can't see it in the recording, but it, it said the hex code was copied to my clipboard. So that's cool. 
Copilot, if, you use, if you're doing coding, you can open up a Copilot workspace from here, create extensions, define words, that goes back to the dictionary. Kill process, that goes into things that are running on your computer, and then you can kill those by hitting enter, highlighting it and hitting enter. Obsidian, so again, this is you, what you see on your computer will vary based on if you have the latest OS, if you have Sonoma, or if you have certain apps, like I have Obsidian, then you could do things like create a daily note, create a regular blank note, and you just hit command and it would just open up, it asks you which vault you wanna place that in, and then you could just simply pop it into that uh, vault. And you can do it right here from within the Raycast window. So I can say, test note, you can set a path if you want, tags, note, YouTube, etc. And then I just hit command K or command enter rather. And that creates it and it opens up obsidian. And there it is. How convenient is that? And let's go back to option space. Let's go back. And so those are all the obsidian options. There's more Raycast stuff. And I tried some of these and they're for premium. So like the, the window management stuff and some of these other options are only for the premium version of Raycast, which I'm not on and they prompt you to upgrade right there. There's AI chat, all that stuff is premium if I try to click on it. Yeah, sign into your Raycast account to experience pro features. And you can do screenshots, search screenshots, paste recent screenshots, eject disks if you still have a CD drive on your, oh, I, actually, no, that would be like disks, like hard, like drives and things like that. Um, you can restart your computer from here, quit all applications, open your trash can. You can set the volume from here, sleep, open up the translator. And here's all the window management stuff. So if I take my audio interface, let's try it. Let's see if I can do windows management on this. Windows management, let's do top center sixth, enter. And yeah, look at that, it moves it around. That wasn't quite top center sixth. This is a bad example because that one can't be resized, but let's do, um, let's do Obsidian again. And then I'm gonna come into windows and then let's do first two thirds, hit enter and it moves it to the first two thirds. The cool thing too is the emojis. And I mentioned that briefly. So on Mac, if you hit control command space, it opens up your Apple built-in emojis. But if you do it, once you have Raycast installed, you get a slightly different menu and it's way faster. For some reason, the Apple one is always laggy, but this one pops up immediately and it's kind of a cleaner interface. Like you just got bigger emojis so you can see everything a little bigger and it's really snappy. So if I type in dog, it just instantly finds all the dogs. And if I apply one, I just hit return to paste to Obsidian, because that's my actively open app, and there it is. So yeah, that's Raycast. It basically extends your spotlight and it just makes your Mac more useful and you can use it for free.